I had to tell my staff who rode with me in the car. Uh, my wife just called and I had a water pipe bust at the house. I've got to go. Now, whether they believed it or not, I don't know, okay? But that was the story and we're sticking to it. As Mitch Thompson was zooming back from Huntsville to get a job offer he'd waited years for, his assistants were left behind to figure things out without him. And once they'd untangled his not-so-believable lie, the Bosky boys knew they were gearing up for a new era of Highlander baseball. Kind of later on, we were sitting there thinking, we're like, that's not a pipe bust in the middle of summer, but it was it was pretty funny and, and uh, uh, we kind of realized then like, hey, something's going on. It's been a long time since we've seen a major coaching nope. shakeup on the banks of the Bosque. Read that angle. Read the angle of the ball. But after nine years at the helm at MCC, Mitch Thompson finally announced he's moving on. And then he told us on Wednesday morning, got all the team together and told us on Wednesday morning and it was it was pretty awesome. And we all of us wanted it for him. We hate to see him leave this place, but we understand how how much that place means to him. The change a little easier to take because the Highlanders had been preparing for it just in case a few days later they named Tyler Johnson as Thompson's successor. Stepping in and following a legend here. I mean, that's that's big shoes to fill and and so I'm I'm excited about it, but I think he's done a good job of preparing me. For the last four years, Johnson has learned under Thompson's wing. For the 20 plus years before that, he had a different mentor. His dad, Skip Johnson, now the head coach at Oklahoma. You know, the team that knocked A&M out of the College World Series. It was awesome seeing them play that way. How hard they played and the passion they had for the game is something that he always tries to instill in everybody. And so I was super proud and, and extremely happy watching them get to do that and make that run because it was pretty special. Johnson has something else going for him as he takes the reins at MCC. The school breaking ground earlier this year on a new all turf field, one complete with lights and new padded walls. Coach Thompson's leaving me a Cadillac. I mean, I'm gonna get to walk out here and this this place is it's gonna be pretty incredible. Watching the construction and everything that's been going on has been pretty exciting and, and I'm thankful for all the people that donated and kind of made this possible. I mean it's Right, being right here in the middle of the state, it's going to help so much with recruiting. We're going to be able to host high school games, tournaments, and then for on our side of things is we're not going to miss a day ever. And if you think a coaching change will change the World Series expectations for the Bosky boys, think again. We're not slowing down at all. Foot still on the gas pedal.